happy Friday beauties. I hope you guys have had an amazing week. I've had an awesome week. Oh, hi, Coda. How are you? So I guess Coda wants to be featured today. She's a little angel, a little baby. So today we're going to look at skincare and my skincare regimen and why it's going to be conscious of what we're using and about how we're applying and all these different fun little things. Oh my gosh, all these different fun little things, right, Coda? So, without further ado, I would like to take you with me on my facial. So, let's go. All right, hey, hey. we're at my facial. I'm so excited. So, we're going to go through it, talk about some stuff. I'm going to have Katie explain what we're doing to my face today. And I'm so excited. Oh my God. All right, so we're going to cleanse our skin. Katie's okay, going to talk about the benefits of that real quick. <laughs> So basically, for this facial, cleansing the skin is going to be important just to dry it out because it's important to start with um, super dry skin before we dermaplane. Yes, and we'll get to dermaplaning in a second. Okay, so we're going to start dermaplaning, and basically what that is, is it's gently scraping the surface of your skin so it gets rid of all these little peach fuzz vellus hairs, and it gets rid of all the dead skin to kind of start breaking up um, that thick outer layer. So we're going to be doing microdermabrasion next, and basically it's this wand that has a coarse tip on it. It's hooked up to a tube that has suction coming through it, and it's going to get rid of all the dead skin that's still on the surface after um, dermaplaning. So it's gonna help kind of trigger that assault mechanism in your skin and shoot new cells up and help your skin rejuvenate itself. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is a chemical peel. And basically what those do is they unstick the rest of the dead skin that's on the surface and make them come off in the next couple of days. So they tend to make you a little bit dry and tight the next couple of days. But underneath all of that is like smooth new skin. Yeah. Okay, ready? So the next thing that we're gonna do is a massage. Um, facial massage is really important for extractions later on because it kind of softens up the skin and helps them slide out easier. Um, it's also good for like circulation and plumping up the skin, working on fine lines and wrinkles, things like that. So the next thing that we're going to do after the massage is use our microcurrent machine. Basically what this is, is it's low current electricity that works out the muscles in your face. So it helps with firming and tightening. So the next thing that we're gonna do is use our high frequency machine. This is also low current electricity. Um, what this does though is it kills all the bacteria that's under the skin, so it helps with breakouts and redness and things like that. It kind of kills that inflammation of bacteria. So it's nice if you do have a breakout, it kind of just saps it and makes it go away. And it sounds way worse than it feels. So after all of those machines, we're going to use a clay mask. So clay, its properties are detoxifying. So basically, it's going to help bring up any debris that's still stuck in the skin. So it helps with like extractions because it'll bring the blackheads up to the surface so we can just slide them out without any harsh pressure. So we're about to do extractions and kind of get out all of these little blackheads that are right at the surface. Fine. Favorite part. All we're doing now after extractions is just applying a thick moisturizer because of all the exfoliation that we did. We want to make sure that we hydrate well um, so you don't get flaky. The last step of the facial is applying sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important when you're getting all of this exfoliation done and every day because if you think about it like your skin is always fighting UV rays, so which is the rays that the sun puts out. Um, so when you don't have a block on it to take care of those, your skin is constantly fighting them and can't get down and fix anything else and any other problems that you have. So putting that block on every day is going to allow your skin 
to heal texture, to heal breakouts, and any other problems that you might have. So now the facial is all done. Katie was amazing. Now my skin feels nice. <laughs> It'll be amazing. So I'm going to go home now. Welcome back to my room. I hope you have fun hanging out with me on my facial. My skin feels so amazing. It was... It's good to treat yourself, and I think we really forget that in our fast-paced, super exciting lives, to really settle, focus on our body, and really listen and give our body what it needs. So, now that we got that facial, I'm going to go over the things that I use at home to keep my skin healthy, to keep it growing, to really... Because I have a lot of scarring, because I had acne when I was younger pretty badly, so I'll just take a little gander into the things that I use daily and you know sometimes it's diet that really contributes to the oil and stuff other times it's just a lack of cleansing or hormones or all these different things factor into it but it's always good to kind of pick higher quality products and they typically do a better job and I'll go through mine talk about how I like them and we'll just have a little fun with that. This is it. This is a peek at everything that I use for my skin, besides the facial that we just saw with Katie. So I will start off with exfoliating. So over here we have the exfoliators that I use most primarily, this one being key. And it's from Trader Joe's, you guys. How insane is that? It was actually a Christmas present from one of the loves of my life, Elena. And this is the Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. This does such an amazing job of really clearing up all the dead skin that I have from being on a retinol treatment. I will talk more about that in a moment. But yeah, overall, it's just an amazing, practical, and a not super high price point product that I really, really enjoy using three times a week. And then follow that with masking. More to come. Over here, we also have the Bosha exfoliating charcoal deep pore exfoliating peel gel with volcanic sand because you know that volcanic sand is super important anyway this is an excellent exfoliator as well really really makes my skin feel opened up and clean so i can really get good cleansing in speaking of cleansing that is our bread and butter family so here we have the loves of my life <laughs> no i'm just kidding but these two products are lifesavers, honestly. So Ole Henriksen, such an amazing, especially for oily skin like mine, like I have super oily skin. Just the skin I have has really caused a lot of my acne, but I never, I mean, honestly, I don't remember the last time I had a breakout since I've started this regimen with these two. And I rotate so that my body can stay guessing, you know, and keep it guessing it's just so important like we do that with our workouts we do that with our nutrition keep your body guessing and it becomes more adaptable this is the cleanser i live for this is the cleanser i love for i love this cleanser so this is our detoxifying black cleanser with some charcoal in it. you know what i'm saying charcoal is such a good purifier we don't really think that but it is it gets my skin so clean so breathable to really get on a good mask on to the mask one so like i said i exfoliate three times a week and i mask three times a week and i don't always do the same one bosha luminizing black mask so this is the thing that you guys see on facebook instagram all these different things the peel off mask so this does an excellent job at really picking up that nasty stuff we leave in our pores throughout the day i highly recommend this not a super high price point a lot of these things came from Sephora, like the Ole Henriksen, the Bosha, the Glam Glow, which we are going to get to that mask next. So excited. That's so good for tightening and keeping your skin up. Like I said, that Glam Glow. Let's have a quick little talk about it. A quick little talk about it. So this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. So this is something that I do under my eyes especially or in the areas in between my eyebrows, up in that T-zone, to really keep my skin firm. And yes, it is purple. I wish I had two hands, but I'm holding the camera, guys. But you guys should really, really, really try this out if you guys are having trouble underneath your eyes or just in areas that need a little bit more firmness for your liking. Also, another Christmas present from Elena Love. This is Mask of 
magnanimity, magnanimity. I don't know how you say it, but this is amazing. So this is a Lush product. Lush is an amazing store. If you guys have not been into it, I definitely recommend it. So all their things are handmade by local estheticians, etc. This one was made by Kevin. So this has, let me tell you, let me tell you, this has honey. It has primrose seeds, peppermint oil, African marigold oil. And I mean, it just, this, it's green. So if you guys ever see me on Snapchat with a green mask, it is this one. Blue mask is that one. So sometimes I will even venture into doing a little multi-masking where I do all three at once or this in my under eye middle of the forehead zone this in areas that I really think need some rejuvenation multi-masking is great if you really have some trouble spots you've you know not had your diet on point had too much alcohol not been hydrated enough that your skin really needs an extra boost multi-masking is super helpful with that over here we're gonna hit up the saviors of my skin vanny cream so moisturization is so so critical and we don't often think about it that way vanny cream is recommended by that esthetician you saw earlier katie my amazing facialist and one of my really really fantastic friends vanny cream is non-clogging but still super moisturizing so your pores aren't going to get full of gunk but at the same time it's going to be super hydrated this little fun thing right here derma renew gentle peptide and vitamin a so this little guy is my retinal treatment that i use every other night it's so great it's such an awesome serum i love this brand also recommended by katie the esthetician we saw earlier so the purpose of this is to help your skin turn over more quickly so instead of it being a 30-day turnover of new skin cells it's half the time that really causes us to have less wrinkles. It's truly, really, really, really helped me with my acne scarring and really making that as minimal as possible. So this is something, it is a little pricey, so I know that not everyone can right off the bat go and grab this, but it is such a good investment for yourself, for your health, for your skin. This is the D Fluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. Also a Christmas present. I love it so much. It smells amazing. It is really good because it doesn't really get so frothy that I can't see the edges of my beard for when I'm edging it. But at the same time, super hydrating and super clean and good for my skin. So I really hope you guys liked looking at the regimen that I use. I hope it was helpful. So now, yeah, I guess we'll go back to seeing my beautiful face in front of the camera. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for coming on the first ever skin episode with David Does It. I hope you got some good information, looked at some good products, you know, had a fun time at my facial. I'm so glad you guys came with me. Have an awesome weekend. It's Friday. I love you so much. Mwah.